there are at least uh, three studies that are uh, particularly relevant to the field of interventional cardiology and uh, particularly they deal with the topic of uh, antithrombotic management in patients with coronary artery disease. One of the uh, trials that have been presented uh, has been uh, uh, awaited for a while. It is called OptiDual. It's uh, another trial of a dual antiplatelet therapy duration. Uh, at least 10 have been published so far, so this is uh, another one. But here it's quite unique what they compared. They compared uh, uh, a regimen of uh, 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy with a very long term of four years of dual antiplatelet therapy. And actually, they found no difference in the composite net end point uh, of uh, uh, bleeding and ischemic events. However, there was a strong trend towards a reduction, uh, p value of 0.06, in the ischemic events with the long term dual antiplatelet therapy duration versus no. So, in a way, uh, those who think that uh, you should look uh, in a puristic way to a trial, they will say that this is negative. However, this uh, supports somehow the results from the previous. DAPT trial that extending duration of dual antiplatelet therapy may have some benefit in patients at low bleeding risk such as those that were enrolled in this uh, uh, trial. There is uh, another study which I think is very important in the field of duration of dual antiplatelet therapy and it was a meta-analysis of more than 30,000 patients from uh, six trials that uh, had the prior myocardial infarction. So these were a high-risk population in which the net benefit could be most promising uh, and uh, actually this was uh, uh, the case because there were significant reductions in uh, uh, cardiac mortality as well in uh, stent thrombosis and myocardial infarction and the combined endpoint of MACE in this study. But however, as usual, this came at the price of increased uh, uh, bleeding. So overall, this study adds to the knowledge about uh, the pros and cons of uh, extending dual antiplatelet therapy in uh, a selected uh, population, in a selected clinical scenario. But at the end of the day, we do not have a clear-cut answer on uh, uh, the uh, right duration of dual antiplatelet therapy for uh, all patients. This was another important analysis that has been presented here. It's uh, uh, the Matrix trial. Uh, the Matrix trial has been presented uh, previously at the American College of Cardiology, but you know that uh, this trial has a very complex design. There was a randomization for uh, uh, the ap vascular approach, uh, radial versus femoral. And these results have been uh, presented. There was a randomization of babalirudin versus heparin. And here at DSC, for the first time, we know about the third randomization, which was the post-PCI uh, uh, infusion of babalirudin versus no infusion. And the results actually do not support the benefit in prolonging the duration of uh, uh, bivariudine uh, infusion after uh, PCI, which comes uh, to some uh, surprise, but uh, this was the first uh, trial that uh, actually addressed this uh, topic in a randomized way.